Hey everybody, Dave Nassi here with Next Level Guitar. We're continuing with our great series of how we can do pentatonics a little bit different. And we're gonna talk about ways that we could use all of these shapes and that we can get around the guitar and approach pentatonics in a little bit of a different fashion. And I think as a player, when you get older, you just wanna increase your visibility. You wanna be able to look at the fretboard a little bit longer so you're not just straight up and down. Sometimes when you work harder techniques like this, it makes all those other things that you're doing in your everyday a lot easier. So it's the best part. Click on the link that you see below in that YouTube text box. What do you get if you click that link? Well, you're gonna get a bunch of free information is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a coinciding ebook that you would never find anywhere else. You're gonna have all kinds of scales and chord diagrams in it. Most importantly, you get a free video not available on YouTube. So if you click on that link below, free video, coinciding ebook, all kinds of good information. My approach to some hammer-ons and pull-offs with the scale, we're gonna be in the key of A minor and we're gonna play three notes per string, A minor pentatonic. That's what we're gonna get into. Um, what is really interesting about this is you're gonna have some wide stretches, so uh, don't fear, don't fear the stretch. This will be really, really good for uh, anybody, you know, at any level. If we're in A minor pentatonic, you know, that's your first form of your pentatonic. And then this is gonna be your second. The trickiest thing with three notes per string is visualizing the two shapes together. So if I go, right, that's three notes per string. And look at that, I got a hefty stretch. I got a minor third stretch from my pinky and my middle finger. Now if you have to go like this to play it, that's totally fine. Your hands will stretch out, I guarantee it. And things that you could do with some of these wild stretches in these different positions is isolate it, you know, like really sit and think about like, okay, well, if my middle finger has got to go from seven or yeah, to 10, maybe I'll hold this down and I'll try to stretch it out a little bit. As we go to the G string, we're going to go five, seven, nine, then we're going to go five, eight, nine. and that's cool. You know, start. have some you know interesting things going on there as our notes double. Let's talk about something that we could play that is going to take us this way. One really good exercise to do is this. You're going to pick the first note, you're going to hammer up, you're going to pull off, and hammer back up again. So it's a seven note sequence. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really nice stretch. another repeating note, but we're all good right there. Now I can take this bad boy, and I can go up here like this, really stretching it out. And look at the sliding that's happening. And that's where I start here, hammer up, pull back, slide up, and then I hammer the rest. And that's a really, you know, Pretty wild thing to do with your hands, but it's a lot of fun. So slowly, if I incorporate this, and as I go through the lick, we've got a few more positions that we can do. We could go like this. And when we take this thing up, we're gonna maybe just go bend it right there just to keep it nice and easy. That's on the 15th fret. And you can see we're just taking some of these patterns in, initially in the beginning. We're just spreading it out and trying to see this idea of moving the guitar around or moving uh, pentatonic shapes around on the guitar in a three note per string fashion. One really popular thing that you uh, may have come across in your journeys in learning the guitar and maybe trying things like this is a shape that's going to be a little bit of uh, what we did, and it's, this will be a little different. Check it out. So I'm going to go 5, 10, 10, 12, 7, 10, 12, 9, 10, 12, 10, 13, 15, and then I'll go 12, 15, 17. That's really uh, a popular one as well. And that one's great for the same pattern. And that's a really good workout for your hands. And you could take anything like this 
and start to slide it. You know, we did the sliding here a minute ago. Well, here's a great lick incorporating some of that sliding. We're going to go like this. When I go up to here, I'm going to slide. I like that. So slowly, you get a really good movement there. And this one here, which we originally did 7, 9, and 12, we've got a new uh, spacing here we can do where we start where we finish and go up to there. So what we're going to do now a little bit of string skipping with our pull-offs today. Now this lick right here, I would like you to practice this. We're going to go and that's a really tricky lick. You heard I got a little bit of string noise in there, but I'm going to strike this note one time. Pick. Pick that one. Pick. Pick that one with my pinky. So you see I'm really just picking my first finger and my pinky. And that's a fun lick. So I can take it and do that. And all of these are mapping through our pentatonic scale, and we're doing some hammer ons and pull offs and sliding with our first finger. Slowly up here. That's a nice phrase to practice. Again. So slowly, I can move this thing all the way from here. Good. We have some string skipping going on. We have a three note per string approach there with the pentatonic scale. And we have some fun licks that we could play. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. I had a good time doing some hammer ons and pull offs in a three note per string fashion. I hope you've enjoyed this. Go to the website because not only will you find this there, but you'll find all kinds of other things and more. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next time at Next Level Guitar. <laughs>